Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates. With us today is Johnny Kennethan. Kenny. Jonathan Kenny. Right. And he represents a martial arts school known as? Toraguchi Martial Arts. Toraguchi Martial Arts. Tora, meaning bull, and Gucci, meaning purse. So, bull purse. What are you going to be demonstrating for us today? So we're going to be working on some of the uh, lesser known applications for the high block. All right. I'm going to hand the show over to him and we'll see what kind of tricks this bull has in his sack. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kenny at Toraguchi Martial Arts, and we're here going to look at some of the lesser known applications for the high block. A lot of people teach and learn when they're young that the high block is designed for a punch to the face. Right? When you teach it to kids, it's easy for them to understand and see that application, the punch is coming, defend your face, right? We don't always have to or need to give initiative to our attacker, it doesn't make a lot of sense, right? We're squared off and he throws that punch, I'm already behind and I gotta chase it. So this as an application doesn't make practical sense. As an application for grappling, it does though, because when we do the high block, we have this pulling hand, also known as hikite, and we have this arm, not just going up, but forward. So if we're squared off, I can then grab and I can drive my forearm up into the throat like so. I can then continue making the X position again that's traditionally known with the high block. I can reach for the uniform and I can get to a choke situation. I can then reach down and I can do a leg pick again utilizing my hikite right, to take him down. All right? So we can show it at full speed now. We're here, we're squared off. <laughs> and that is the lesser known techniques for the age uke or the high block. Thank you very much. All right, so my number one problem with Tori Amos's technique is that it betrays a basic scientific principle, something that is in the world of physics applicable to all combat situations, something you need to understand. Everything that goes down must come up. It's like if you ever try to hold a beach ball underwater, Right? If you do that, no matter how long you do it, I've done it for hours, and no matter how long you do it, that sucker's popping right back up above the water. Which is why I teach my students in all self-defense situations, as soon as someone takes an aggressive stance toward you, you gotta go down on him first, okay? So, that's why I'm gonna go right for his bull purse by grabbing him right in the groin, okay? And squeezing. Now, I'm going to do my upward strike at the same time, but I'm going to pull, which in circulating that energy is really gonna help me get it up. Okay. Now I gotta go for the choke, but I'm not gonna grab any clothing. I'm gonna grab them right by the short and curlies what? here oh. and pull ah. down on the beard before I go up and choke, okay? You don't wanna count on your ah. opponent having clothing. If I had a nickel for every time I had to fight a naked man, I'd have 35 cents. So, you always wanna be ready to fight a nude dude. Once I've disoriented him and he's dizzy from the choke, now I'm gonna to go to the takedown. I'm going to go down to his leg, lifting him up, making sure that this leg is erect. Then I'm going to finish right in his face, coming with the forearm strike to his mouth and pulling down at the same time. This is a variation on a Japanese technique that in their language is called the bukki. And as always, restomp that groin. All right, uh, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I'd like to thank Kenneth and Johnny Foote for coming in and showing us some of his bull purse moves. Maybe you can come back and show us some other techniques. If people want to find you online, they can... The Toraguchi Way or Toraguchi Martial Arts on Facebook and YouTube and at Oakville Karate on Instagram. All right, and tune in again next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Watch out! Don't worry, I was once a conquistador in Lithuania. Zorro, Zorro! That's one mad cow. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restomp that groin. <laughs>